Hey, William. It's William the Wolf, everybody. You want to go, bro? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, he wants to go. Nine. Weapon is out of ammo. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to deal with today. It's a freaking wolf. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Space Engineers. You guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate each one of you guys. Check out this beautiful view. My gosh. So, yeah, things have changed since the last, I guess, the last survival video. We just went through the uh, Learn to Survive scenario in the last video. But since then, I've started up a new world, I guess, a new game. Yeah, look, we got a mountain over there. We've got this beautiful, lush fields. I love it. So I wanted to change because our first survival game video playthrough thing, uh, we were up in the mountains and it wasn't very good. So yeah, so in today's video, I want to focus on building a rover. So I thought that would be the worst place to do it would be in the mountains. Also, per your guys' recommendations, I crafted this ore detector. It says ore detectors detect ores within a limited radius and makes them show up on your HUD. Now, I think this is a... 150 by 150 I believe radius I'm not seeing anything so either we're in the absolute worst place for ores or something but anyway check out this new tower I put three of these wind turbines on there way better than my previous uh, build where I went like 300 high and I came out like 80 and I went up another 1200 and I was like look at me I'm making power things <laughs> but anyway yeah we're doing better this time around also I stuck this control panel here and that's for my lights so I just want to show you guys I am capable of doing space engineer things. So I got these lights right here. Check this out. Boop. And I went ahead and grabbed all the lights. I think if we do... Uh, nope. This? Yeah, we got four lights I put up there. I grouped them together. We can turn them off. Only select this. Now we can toggle the block on. And we can turn the lights on. So we actually have working light switches in space engineers. fan flippin -tastic. So, let's just get right into it. Um, How does one build a rover? I do not know. I don't know if we're going to do... Probably going to do a small grid, right? Is that what it's called? If we go landing gear. Let's just grab this. Seven. Um, actually, I think we need to put it right here. On a block. Four. We do it like this. Now. Seven. That, that, that is a massive one. There we go. Okay, that's better. Does it not lock into place? That's fine. We're doing that. Whatever. Seven. Landing gear. Nailed it. Do we have everything we need? It looks like we do. Cool. So first things first, we build a landing gear. It is green, so I think it is connected to this down here. Perfect. Now, if we grab these little blocks, and we can just start building out. Now, really, this first rover isn't going to be anything super special fancy or unique it's just gonna get me from point a to point b hydrogen is low no 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 we're fine because i have uh i do right yeah okay yeah i have a bottle in my inventory so perfectly fine yeah it's just gonna be um so i can continue hand mining for a little bit longer and then fill oh good bot i just i just did i completed the task nice i think you're smarter than my maker probably what was i saying stop interrupting me good bot good is just trying to talk uh, is this going to be a transport rover? So, um, we, I, I'm just going to be playing around with it. I really have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, let's go ahead and X right there. Um, we need to get a cockpit, don't we? We're just going to search for cock. There we go. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay, we're just going to, um, I think. I think this is perfect. You know what? We're doing it. We're just going to put it right there. Uh, I think this has a port on the bottom of it, doesn't it? And we have everything but the bulletproof glass. Okay, it's functional. So we'll come back to that. Uh, let's just see real quick. I think, yeah, see, there's a port on the bottom of it. So we, need, we may need access to that. Now, I don't know if... Huh. I don't know if we put blocks here and come back on the side if it counts as being connected or if it has to be on the bottom. That's a that's a great question there, Goodish. So we're gonna come back over here. We're just gonna grab all the steel blocks or steel uh, plates rather. And look at that, the rover is already becoming a thing. Fantastic. All right, now I do have the wheels. Goodness gracious. 
That one, better. I think this one's the left. Uh, if we do this, 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 not that, this, perfect. And I think we just place it. I don't know if that's right side up or not. It looks like it is. So yeah, it puts a wheel on it. Now, if we hit six, we come on this side. Is that right? I think it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, check it. Uh, we should probably build this up first. We have so much stuff in our inventory, it's crazy. Can we get a wheel? Nailed it. And this one, cool. So I kind of wanted to just have these here so we could see. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess a, a wide... A wide body, low center of gravity would work out really nicely, wouldn't it? Huh. It is nice and smooth around here, so that actually may work. Later on, we're going to build larger grid stuff. We're going to actually do some, some actual building things. But right now, what do we need next? We need a battery, right? So let's go ahead and grab this battery. And then we also need, what was it? Storage? Cargo, I think, is what it's called. Hold on. Cargo. Small, large, medium. I think we can do medium. I think we're good with that. We already have a cockpit, so we're good there. Now, the question is, this medium right here, it has one small port on either side and then two large ports. Now, on the back of our cockpit right there, you can see we only have two small ports, so I don't think this is actually going to line up. Ah, so let's go seven. Let's stick our battery right here. I don't know which side is up. So we're just going to go with that. Okay, perfect. And an eight. Now I'm thinking... Hmm. Huh, yes. We have to figure out how to pipe this thing too. I'm wondering if maybe we... Huh, huh, huh. You know what? It doesn't really matter right now. Because we're not going to be drilling in this thing. We're not going to be doing that whole number. We're literally just going to have just storage for me to, uh, when I hand drill, I can come and drop it off here. That way we can, uh, bring back massive amounts of materials instead of, uh, just trying to fill up my inventory. So I think that actually will work just fine. What do we need here? Let's just go right click for our builder thing. We come over here. Now, do I have anything in the production queue? We have a, a clip. That's right, because I have, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, when I reloaded the, the world, I put in spiders and wolves, and I've been having a heck of a time with the wolves out here in Space Engineers. They are, they're trolly trolly. So let's go ahead and do this. That should now start creating all of the components needed to finish off the battery. Holy crap. What did I have? <laughs> In my build planner, goodness gracious. Okay, and if we middle mouse wheel click there and withdrew some things, we just come back over here, but not enough things. Um, so I think this body's okay right here. Yeah. There we go. And we could build these bad boys out, make this thing sturdy. Uh, while building it, we don't need, I don't think we need to keep it all built like this. We can just keep it in its default um, skeletal state, these blocks. But when we actually go to drive this thing, I think it does add to the durability. So we definitely want to build these out. All right, so we have storage back there. I really don't even know. I'm sure there's measurements and stuff. I don't want it to be too short because I'm afraid of doing wheelies. Um, so I think we're going to make it a little bit wider. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should stick two of these storage is on there. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now, they do connect via the small port, so we don't need to pipe them or anything. Oh, this is greatness, you guys. We're going to have so much storage. It's ridiculous. Now, we need one display. Let's go ahead and finish these bad boys off. Okay, not too bad for not having a clue what I'm doing. Honestly, <laughs> honestly I don't know. Uh, now, we do need... Let me think. Oh, there's a unknown thing over there. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we can come here. Production, how are we looking here? Do we need... Are we out of... Oh, man, you guys. Let's go ahead and get the power cell at least. Where's the power cell at? There we go. Maybe we can get this battery finished. 
Okay, it's looking pretty good, pretty good. We need, <laughs> we need 15 more. Okay, what do we... Um... We just need to mine some more. Huh. So why is my... Nope, that's not, that's wrong. Why is my inventory so full? It's full of all this shenanigans. Maybe we can build on the, the rear wheels and get some of this inventory stuff freed up. Um, what did I come out? I came out two? We could even, like, I mean, we can do different, right? We could come out three on the back so it's even wider wheelbase. I don't think I'm going to do that left, but I think just knowing that we can is pretty cool. So then, what is it, six? I don't know, you guys. I think we're doing fan freaking tastic for not really knowing what I'm doing. Uh, this is this is literally my first rover. I have not experimented at all, so it's very possible this thing isn't going to work at all. Um, <laughs> which I'm, I'm half expecting that to be the case. Now I am a little confused about how we get into the turning. Right? I looked through all the wheels. Uh, there's suspension wheels and there's all that kind of stuff, but I don't know how we're going to get in the cockpit and actually have these wheels turn. Let's actually go ahead and test it real quick. V. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not moving. So, uh, we need bulletproof glass. We need 30 glass. Goodness gracious. The wheels aren't actually turning. So it may just be a straight line rover for now. 30. We have two. Goodness gracious. Oh, we don't need more ore. We need space. Okay. Uh, all right. So we can do that little number. So under production then, let's go ahead and prioritize some things here. We need, well, what do we need? We need the glass up here so we can finish off the cockpit. And then we also need, can I not make, yeah, power cells. We can. Am I not making any power cells? Question mark. Huh. You know what we're going to do? We're going to cancel a lot of this stuff out because my God, that's a lot in there. And then power cells, we need... Uh, no, 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 not 200. We need, let's just do 30 more. I'm going to take silicon, iron, and nickel, which I think we have, right? I mean, we have some. I think we're just overburdened down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So storage is a huge thing we need. My gosh. Uh, did I build a storage here yet? I don't think I did. We have the basic uh, refinery. Yeah, also I matched up all these machines so they work. This one is the assembler, I believe. Energy is low. This one is the H2O things. And here's the survival kit. Which takes forever. Um, refill energy. Nailed it. Task. I think... So, I think we can build a better uh, solution for recharging energy, but that's going to come a little later on. I think it's advanced. So... We can do this now. Bulletproof glass. We're still shy on that. This guy? Okay, still shy on that by power cells. So, so far, the three wind turbines has been sufficient enough to keep things moving here. Uh, we need these and these. Let's go ahead and put computers back. We can grab these guys. Put those back. Grab these guys. Kind of grabbing everything I, I can. Use a survival kit or refinery to process and obtain. Dude, we just went through this in the last video, didn't we? <laughs> with, with the learning to survive. Okay, now these. Actually, you know what? What am I even doing? We can start storing stuff in this right now. Free up our inventory. Oh, this is a game changer. We should probably build one of these. Now that I'm thinking of it over here at the base, y'all. Y'all. Let's check it. Um, we can stick it right here. I think that's a great idea, Goodish. Oh, but it's, he's not going to want to... He doesn't want to play. Um, weird. So, does it have to be... Oh, you guys. This is really strange. Can I not? It looks a little smaller. We may have to get into, let's see, conveyor, right? Is that what it was? Conveyor? I don't even know if I have that yet. Conveyor junction. Yeah. Is is this what I need? Let's stick the battery. Conveyor junction. Does that connect? It sure does. Now, is there... 
there's ports on either side. If we put that right there, we need iron plate. I wish I could test it to see if the conveyor junction or if the medium storage would connect to the conveyor junction. Huh. Let's just try and test it here. If we stick this up here. Oh, interior plates. Oh, for frick's sake. Okay, so let's just grab these boys. Come on over here. Place it down. Boop. And then build it on up. We need everything. <laughs> so if we right click that, does this work on any storage? Can I middle mouse wheel to grab the inventory I need? I think we can actually. Check that out. Uh, 20 steel tubes. I don't even think I've made any of that to be honest with you guys. Just kidding. We've made two of them. So production, let's just go ahead and craft up two of those bad boys. Now, what are we missing on this? We may need to go mining some more. Crap on a cracker. Just get functional, my man. Just get functional. Come on, bruh. Um. Okay, so it's making them. We're just out of inventory space? Is that what's going on? No. What? Okay, <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Perfect. Now, a uh, conveyor junction right here. Now, what this is, allows us to do, my assumption is, it's just a routing block, right? Now we can bring off conveyor ports off here, but is it considered big grid or big build? What are they called? I don't even know. So eight, we're still, we're still back at square one with this not connecting to it because it's, ah, so we need the large one on here, don't we? <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, we need the large grid. This is the medium one, so we're probably gonna need the large one. Now, the large one, let's just check real quick. If we go cargo, I know, I know. We're going to get back to building. <laughs> We're going to get back to building the rover here in just a second. Oh, goodness gracious. They weren't joking when they said large. My God. Look at that. And it will... It's like too big to place anywhere. They're like, nope. We're going to have to like build out. Okay, but let's see. It, it requires... Is there anything it requires that we don't have? The metal grid, we have some of that. It requires 24... I don't know if we have 24 or not. Let's look real quick. Because we need storage. Definitely need storage. Def, def, definitely. We have we have two. Okay. Yeah, no, so we can't do that just yet. So storage isn't going to be a thing. What was I working on? I want to check this real quick, you guys. There is there is a piece that we put on the back or the top or the bottom. It's basically a charging port, which allows us to park and connect to the base's power. And I don't know what the block is I'm looking for. It's some kind of... Oh, man, I don't remember. It was like a connector block or lock. Is it lock? Yeah, no, that's sound. <laughs> that's a sound. That's sound block. That's not what I'm looking for. What? What is it called? It's called a uh, port. No, it's not a port. Connector, a connector. <gasps> yes, connector. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. Um. So. Oh, interesting. I wonder. Does. Huh. Does this thing need to be connected to, like, does it need to be connected to this to tie into the system? Or will it just connect like that? I'm assuming it needs to be connected. So maybe it is a good idea that we built that. We're going to have to build some pipes out here, come down. But we need two of them, I believe. One of them for, oh, you know what? We're going to have to change this up. I think, I'm not positive, I think we're going to have to change it up because, actually, hold on, hold on. There are small, small ports on here, so if we just do it like, like this, um, huh, let me think here. We need to, we need to line it up. No, 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 no. Now, I'm thinking, <laughs> I think that's lined up. This is terrible. So what we can do then, this actually may work out just perfect. What we can do, we can stick this guy on top. Um, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Um, so basically, we will connect to the base via the top connector here, which is probably going to work out just perfect. I didn't plan this. 
But I'm thinking we can come out with some conveyor tubes this way. Come down a little bit and stick a connector on there. And it's going to have to be perfect, you guys. Uh, we're probably going to have to bring out this floor just so that we know we're at the same level. Or the correct level. And then this is... Uh, let's see here. We got one, two... It's two and a half blocks? Or one, it's one and a half blocks to be level here to the bottom of this. That's going to be interesting. It may not work. And I'm okay with that because this is just my first go. <laughs> okay. So let's come on in here. Let's go and do this. I was building something. Not entirely sure. Oh, the connector back there. And then we also need to look at conveyor uh, tubes. But we're probably going to have to do large ones, aren't we? Because that's a big old boy. Conveyor tube. Please tell me. Okay, lots and lots do you not even connect it? You do. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. I think this is exactly what we're looking for. And then, uh, if we then... Ooh, learning is fun. Look at this. I, and then if, if we do this... That. Eight. Um... That. So that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking. And I don't know if it's gonna line up or not. I think we need I think we could be close. Uh we may actually have to put some half blocks here. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna figure that out. I'm gonna get this stuff built. And then we're gonna finish off this bad boy. And I'm I'm hoping. I don't know if this has to tie into the battery or not. I think everything just connects because there's no connectors on the battery. I don't know. I, I actually have no idea. So we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. And oh, <laughs> so close! One more motor. Okay. Uh, if we just middle mouse wheel right there. Boop. This guy's almost done, you guys. It's so exciting. It's uh, I guess it's I came back a little too soon. Ow! 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 So we have another unknown signal out there. I'm not gonna mess with those too much. Let me just check here and see what's going on here. Are you guys building what? You're building all motors? Goodness gracious. Is that what we need? No, we... Yeah, we need motors. Fuel what? Low. Your fuel's low. Hold on. Fuel critical. Okay, uh... I don't... It doesn't look like... Huh. Okay, it's not... Is it nickel? I think we're short... A nickel. Crap, we're gonna have to go mining real quick. Uh, you know what? We should probably go ahead and, uh, hold on. What am I doing here? We need this. Oh, this is down. Okay, so we can stick this bad boy back in here. There is a lake near us, so, uh, getting this hydrogen, or getting the ice for the hydrogen is not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and power up and then head on back down into the mine, which is somewhere around here. Are you? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> I've just been digging a hole. Lights. Right there. And just kind of dig down. And now I'm starting to dig out. Because I've been looking for uh, cobalt this whole time. No luck. I have yet to see cobalt. And the hours and hours I've put into this game so far. Just grinding out this mining. Okay. This should be good for a little bit. Let's see. Ore. And scrap metal can be refined. Blah blah blah. Yep, been working on that already. There. I really wish my ore, my ore, uh, what is this? Ore finder worked. Does not. Okay, so now it's gonna start producing. Now we are gonna finish off doing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was a uh, lack of nickel. Silica. Yeah, nickel's being used like crazy. Okay. Okay. Let's so grab these little guys. Wow. I, I was like, here we are, guys. We're back. And then I have so much more to do. Four more motors. Don't tell me. Actually, we can just do this. Did that do it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Three more. Oh, uh, we really out of nickel. We are. Oh, all right. And go do just a smidge more mining, and I'll be right back. And 
Nailed it. Okay, so there we go. We got our little power arm. It's green. That is a good sign, you guys. That means it's getting power from the base. That guy's green. We're probably going to have to add some more wind turbines on here eventually, because I'm sure we're going to get into some kind of power. Uh. Oh. I was like, what is that? Hey, William. It's William the Wolf, everybody. You want to go, bro? Oh, okay. <laughs> He wants to go. Nine. Weapon is out of ammo. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to deal with today. It's a freaking wolf. Okay. So now, is this guy ready to go? Let's just check real quick. The battery is good. Storage is good. Bro. Come on, man. Do you think we can grind this guy down? Oh, it's so gory. Oh. <laughs> you want to go... Little troll, get out of here. That's right, he's grinding down his nose and he's gonna leave me alone. Okay, so, uh, we have four wheels, check. Let me just double check all this stuff. I don't know, this isn't showing me a light. You know what I'm saying? It's not showing green or anything, so it may not even be a thing. We may have to reconfigure all of this. My thought would be to turn these so the big ports are sticking out the back and turn this guy upright so this but kind of sticks out the back. This way we back into it and we reconfigure that over there. But for now, I'm thinking maybe. Are we, <laughs> are we good to go? Here we go. Moment of truth, you guys. My very first rover. Make sure I'm grinding away the right thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, we did it. Look at the low clearance. Look at this thing though. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put our grinder away because knowing me, I will grind it. We have a little bit of charge in our battery. Let's just jump in. Am I squatched? I'm squatched. Here we go. <gasps> oh, oh my god, we actually drive? Oh, and we turn! So it just works then. Oh, no way! It's kind of long. Let's just drive it around a little bit. We don't have much power, so we have to be careful. We have 30... Oh, oh, Jiminy freaking Christmas. Okay, we... <laughs> Maybe the wheelbase isn't wide enough. Now, I think there are some configuration stuff. If we hit K, to come into the control panel of this bad boy. Let's see, the battery, um, that is battery. Charge mode is auto. I think that's fine. Connector? See, I don't know what we need to do with this. We're going to figure it out. Um, collect all, throw out. No, we don't want to throw out. We want to collect all. Trading mode and override power. Let's see, unlock time. Used for parking. Hmm, I don't really know. Cargo. So here we have, uh, we have our two left wheels. I'm assuming this one is the front. This one's the back left. This one's the front right. This one's the back right. So I'm wondering if we group these two together and we say rear wheels. Save. Now we have this group. We can show block and terminal. Now we only show the group right now. Can I, right here. Steering. If we turn steering off, I'm just curious. Yeah, look, now only the front wheels. Oh my god, I can't even believe it. We're... I just got that the first try. Now, I'm not turning too sharp. Um, kind of have to take a wide berth around, but let's just check this out. Let's test it out real quick. My very first ever. We probably should. If this thing turns... Uh-oh. Uh, can I not... I'm in third. There we go. If we come right here. It's yellow. Look at that. Um, okay, what do I... Oh, crap. What did I do? Is it... Is it... Is it P? Did that just do it? Does that just seriously work? Oh, it's green! I don't think it's going to actually charge the battery, though. It's green, right? That's green. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's the thing. The battery. Did we need to put this... On the battery question mark? Let's check it real quick. If we come in here... And we K... Here's a battery right here. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this shows everything now because we're connected to it. Ah. Let's see, max output. Fully charged in 52 minutes. Stored power. Is that going up? It is going up. Um, 
Do I have any other batteries? No, it's just this one, right? Yeah, so... If we can... If we do this, right here. And just rover battery. That way we always know. And then we can show block and terminal. There we go. Now we always know the rover battery. And it looks like it is charging. Just very, very slowly. It's going to be fully charged <laughs> in an hour. Nice. Okay, so I can't, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe we have something going on here. So eventually this is going to tick up to four. That's going to, you know, it's going to become a whole thing. It's going to fully charge. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a little rover with some storage on it. Now, we could put a drill on the front of this bad boy. We could get some crazy stuff going on. I think right now, I'm not going to question it, how that's connected, but it is. So I think right now we're good to go, except for this. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to put flooring all the way back there. And this is going to be like my garage right here. I may actually bring this out even further. So every time I park in my garage, I can just park up to this. And then we should be able to... Oh, you know what? Because this connector is connected to the storage, we should be able to extract this stuff. We definitely need a better storage solution. I'm not entirely sure um, how to go about that right now. Are there, um, let's see, let's just look real quick. Conveyor, are there like conveyor junctions to go from like large to small? Conveyor junction tube, curved. There's a sorter, that's interesting. And then we just jump right into small. So I'm thinking either you have a small solution or a large solution. So to get the large storage online, we need a grid, um, metal grid, which is made, I believe, using cobalt. And we haven't found any cobalt yet. Huh. So I'm probably gonna have to play around with the power. We definitely need to build this out a little bit. More. What in the world? Did you guys see that? Look at my footsteps. My footprints. My my foot dust. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so we're going to need to build out this footprint down here even more. This guy is charging. And I'm so excited about that. Let's go ahead and actually drive him around just a little bit more. If we hit P again, and I think in Splitsy was saying, and this is something I'm going to want to look into, but setting up... Let's actually look at doing that. If we hit... Uh, what is it? G groups connector yeah so if we take connector right here if we right click on it um we can let me just look here i think there's a lock toggle block priest there's a switch lock right i think that's what we want because then when we come up here the problem with p in my understanding did i just i just took out that tree oh my, oh my god okay I think the problem with P is not necessarily an issue right now, but later on down the road, it definitely will be. Uh-oh. Uh, and that's that that locks and unlocks everything, right? Like right now, it's ye it's uh, yellow. Oh my god, would you freaking stay put? There we go. So if we hit P right now, we lock onto it and everything's fine. But if we have another ship, maybe up top, up here, and we hit P, it's possible that it unlocks that and it falls down to the ground so the big thing to do would be to oh my god oh my god yes is to put it in slot let's see if we take if we take parking off yeah yeah so instead of using p we only use it for this specific vehicle now we're locked on we're unlocked perfect that's huge uh and that way we can just lock and unlock this one vehicle so we have we have one day of power when we're just idle when we're fully gunning it we can we have some power let's come on over this way and let's check out our storage real quick now we we probably should limit this bad boy too so we don't go crazy fast because this already oh my gosh it's a huge time saver instead of jetpacking all the way over here i'm thinking i'm going in the right direction i think the the water's over here we can grab some ice while we're over here we can grab some iron from, I think there's a boulder this way. There's one right here. Oh, this is huge, you guys. Huge. See what I'm saying? Now we do this. I don't know if there's a... Uh, there might be a wheel lock. Seems to be okay right now. So if we grab this bad boy. 
all this stuff right here. We just hold down F right here. And this is my whole plan for this right here. Just stick everything into storage. Get it out of our inventory. Boom. And we have 3,300 uh, storage capacity there and on this one. So oh, it says I'm hurt. So then if we come over here, we, we just start grinding all this out, drilling it all out, fill up our inventory again. You guys see exactly where I'm going with this. Crazy cool. Full inventory. For some reason, the lady doesn't talk to me anymore. Yeah, and then we can just come over here. Boop. And that is maxed out, but then we can come over here on this side. Oh, it's like lowering the suspension, isn't it? Ooh, that's crazy cool. So I think we can adjust the suspension to be a minimum height under full load and a maximum height when empty, I think. But anyway, I just want to show that off. This this is all this rover is for you guys. This isn't a mining uh, solution. It's not like end game stuff at all. Oh, this is going to be used for just a little bit, and I'll probably never come back to it again, <laughs> to be honest with you. So there we go. There we go. We have a storage solution. And this is... Oh my gosh, that's so much stuff. That's way better than flying all the way out here in my jetpack, filling up about, I don't know, 1,600 worth of stone and iron, and then going all the way back, and just continue doing that on repeat forever. Awesome. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but this way, instead of doing that jetpack shenaniganry, we can just load this bad boy up. I'm so excited about this, and it seems pretty stable. As long as we're not going full steam ahead and trying to, like, bust a B, you know what I'm saying? Like, go U-turn right there is probably the, the, the proper way to say that. Okay, now. Spacebar. I think spacebar actually is break. There we go. Check that out. We're nowhere near the base. Awesome. I'm gonna get I am gonna get better at all this, but advancements made today, you guys. We're gonna call this episode a success. Except for I can't see when I'm out there. So now if we do Um let's see. Uh oh. Okay, so we definitely need to, to fix all that jazz. Come over here. I'm going to put down some flooring, too, so we don't have to keep... And some ramps, so we don't have to keep doing this ridiculousness every time. But if we come forward... Right. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. And then one. There we go. Okay, we're charged up. We're charging up now. So, perfect. <laughs> this is so crappy. And then we can just grab this stuff out. Put that in there. Grab this stuff out. This thing just booted up. Is it? Is it actually work? Hold on. Is this actually working? <gasps> you guys, I think it just started working. Did it just pull the materials, the stone and the iron from there and bring it through here and then start building? If it did that, oh my gosh. Oh, we got cockpit storage too. And we have access to the medium co cargo containers on here because we tied it. Oh my God. This is fantastic. Oh, epic, you guys. I can't even believe how good how good we did in this episode. So, you guys, that's going to do it for today. I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me. Thank you so much for all of, all of your support on the channel and these videos. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to the Goodish family. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. The Goodish Gamer, signing out.